Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this awesome looking circular window in Revit. This will be a parametric family, but not only will you be able to determine the dimensions of the window through your parameters, you will also be able to change the angle of the window so when it opens you can set the actual angle at which it opens. So it's an amazing type of a family. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and I'm just going to start a new family over here. And I'm going to drop back a folder to go into English metric because I use metric in my country. And then I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the metric window family template. And you just double click and you open it up. And this is what you get. So here we have our wall, this is the exterior, this is the interior, and here we have some parameters all already set up for the dimensions of the window. So let's go outside to the exterior, and as you can see this is kind of a rectangular window template that we have here, but we want a circular template. So how do we do that? So the first thing we need to do is we need to make the height and the width the same dimensions. And we can do that straight through parameters. So I'm just going to go here to the family types button, open it up, and you have this family types dialog. And here I'm just going to select this height, go control C to copy and paste it here at width. And if I go here apply and go OK, you can see now this is a rectangle and those two parameters are now linked up and they will never be different. Now I'm just going to hover over this wall, hit the tab button and then I can select this and then I can edit the sketch of this void. But before we create a circular void, we need a reference plane here in the middle. So I'm just going to go and type in RP for reference plane and create one reference plane over here. And just for later use, we're just going to rename it into center. And let's leave it at that. And now I'm just going to type in DI for dimension and create one dimension like this and hit EQ to make it in the middle of this height dimension. So this is now in the center and we have the center of our whole window. Now again, select this, go edit sketch and delete this sketch that we already have. And then go here and create this circular sketch. And to constrain this dimension, because as you can see, we can't really align it. If I go align, it doesn't really work with circles. So what you need to do is you need to select it. And here we have this radius and you hit this line over here. Now this is a dimension. You select that dimension and you go here to create parameter. And now this will be the radius parameter. And let's leave it at that. And now let's open up the family types dialog and select this height go control C, go here control V, space divided by 2. So this will be height divided by 2 and we get the radius. Go apply, OK, and there you go. So I just go finish and we have our, basically our void finished. So we have the hole in which we're going to be placing our window. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to go, go to go to the exterior, go here create and select extrusion. And once we have an extrusion, just go here to circle, go from the middle all the way to the outside, make this into a dimension, select it and set the same parameter of radius. Where is it? Here it is. So same parameter. Then create another circle inside it and make sure that this is at, let's do it at 730 or 20. Let's do, no, 730, maybe even 20. Yeah, let's do 720. Okay, so we select this and you kind of need to zoom in, select this dimension part, make it into a dimension, select that dimension, create new parameter and call it offset. So just call that offset and go to family types, select the radius, go control C, go here to offset, control V minus 30 millimeters, go apply. And now this is all constrained. So if I go OK, now anytime I change the, the dimension of the window, I change the height parameter, everything will change accordingly. And now I can just change the material here. Let's add some nice wood material. 
some light wood like ash perhaps go apply okay so now we have this parameter all set up and just go finish and let's go into floor plan and as you can see here in the interior it's kind of protruding and in, at, at the exterior it's kind of in line and I want the reverse of that so I'm just going to connect this here and lock it in place and then I'm going to hit RP to create another reference plane and place a reference plane like so then just change this dimension to this yeah change it to let's say 30 millimeters and make this into a dimension select that dimension and lock it so no matter what is the size of your wall this distance will be 30 millimeters that's the important part now select this and extend it over here and lock it in place so now no matter how thick the wall is in the inside it will this kind of a window frame will line up with the wall on the inside and on the outside it will be protruding by 30 millimeters and that's what we want and now it's time for the fun part and the hard part as well and that's creating the actual window door or when yeah how do you call that window door I guess and to do that we need to go to the exterior and we can see here we need this center line and that's where we're going to be placing a reference line that's going to be parametric and will be able to rotate it but to see that as you can see this is at quite a height it's not at at one meter it's a lot higher so we need to go here into reference level and type in VR for view range and change this to let's say 1700 go apply okay and now it's cutting a bit higher and we can see our actual window okay so once we're here or maybe we can change it to 1500 let's see it that yeah this looks maybe better okay so once we're here now we need to create that reference plane so go create set reference plane and let's choose that center one we created earlier on and now go to reference line select it place it here in the center and kind of pull it out a bit and now once we have it you can go and use the align tool align it to the center line then hit tab till you get this little blue point select it lock it in place select this thing this center line again hit the tab till you get this little blue dot select it lock it in place so now this dot over here or this end of this reference line is locked in place so we can change it all we want it will still be locked over here and for this distance I'm just going to make it a parameter maybe pull it out a bit and let's go here to parameters and we already have this offset radius parameter and just leave it at that and now it will be always the same distance as this over here this inter inner line okay so now once we have that we need to add the parameter for the window angle that's the important part so open up this drop menu and go to angular dimension select this here center line select this reference line pull it out select it and add parameter new parameter and we'll call that angle and don't make it a type parameter make it an instance parameter and what this means as an instance parameter it will always appear here in the properties panel when you load it into the project so you can have a bunch of windows that are the same uh, the same size so maybe a radius of 1500 millimeters but the actual angle of how much the window is actually opened can change so you can have one window closed one open at 30 degrees and another open at 90 degrees I guess so once we have this we can go into 3d and if these dimensions are a bit too large for you don't worry you can just change this to I don't know 1 to 20 and now you can see it better let's just go to reference line yeah we have everything okay so let's go into 3d and now it's time to create our window door so just go create extrusion and but before that just set the reference plane to pick a plane go OK zoom in over here and now you can see we have the horizontal plane but hit the tab and now we have the vertical plane and just select it then you go to extrusion you go circle and you select this point over here you pull it out place it here 
and then you create a radius dimension kind of like this and make this into that offset so this will always keep the size of that offset and then do another circle so place it like that let's do this at yeah that's okay do another dimension for this place it like that select it create a new parameter let's call it offset 2 and then go into type family types and here we have our offset go control C control V and let's do this minus 40 millimeters go apply okay so we have this going on and then here for the extrusion end and the extrusion start for the extrusion end I'm going to type in 20 millimeters and for the start minus 20 so it's starting from minus 20 going up to 20 so we have a, a total of 40 millimeters and here for the material I'm just going to make it something dark so let's type in black and let's use this for example I just like to have a contrast between the frame and the window door that's just what I like okay so we have that and one more thing we need to add the glass because the window doesn't make sense without the glass so just go create extrusion we have the same reference plane setup so just go here create an extrusion kinda like that you add the radius dimension yeah like so select it and select offset too okay so we have that finished now here I'm just going to go minus 5 to 5 so we have one centimeter glass I know that's thick but just in order to see it in the model right here and go to realistic okay we haven't changed the material of this glass so just go material type in glass select the glass go OK and there you go so we have our window over here and before you load anything into project make sure to flex your families so just go here to family types and let's change this to I don't know 700 and change the angle to 90 degrees go apply it changed let's try the angle of 0 apply it changed so this angle thing works everything works so you just go OK and now let's create a project so file new project architectural template OK let's place a single wall over here just like so just to place our windows upon then go to your window load into project 3d and let's place a bunch of windows here and now if we go into 3D you can see they're all at 30 degrees but you can select perhaps these two and here we have our angle dimension and let's change that to 0 let's change these two to 90 degrees and let's change this one to 130 so you can see we have a bunch of windows and they're all at different types of openings so this can make for interesting renderings if that's something you would like to create okay but anyway this is it for this tutorial I hope you have learned something new and something cool thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day